Hello everyone, welcome back. And today we have a very, very informative video as well as kind of a how-to style video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys basically how I power the layout, how I use the MTHDCS command system on the layout, and I'm gonna show you guys how you can run a conventional locomotive at the same time as a DCS locomotive. So sit back, relax, and let's get into the video. All right, so what you're looking at right now is basically the heart and soul of my layout. Everything that powers the layout comes through right here. So there's a couple things that might look a little confusing, so don't worry, I'll explain everything to you right now. Right here is my DCS remote, MTH DCS remote control. And this is what I control pretty much 85% of the trains with. You can, I also use a couple other things like the Lion Chief remotes and stuff, but you know, those are, I've already discussed a couple of those in past videos when I've reviewed a couple of Lion Chief trains. But this is what I use for most of the trains in the collection. Right here is the MTH TIU, and then right next to it, I've got the power bricks that I use. These are two MTH Z1000s. And you notice these are labeled fixed one and variable one. What do those mean, first of all? Well, those relate to the TIU. So first off, on one side, it says output. The other side says input. In short, input goes to the power bricks. Output goes to the track. So these are the wires that are going off to my track. The black is for the outside rail. Red is for the inside rail. And then right here, I'm using a couple of MTH banana jacks, as they're called to connect up to the barrel jacks that these bricks use. So back to the fixed one and variable one. What do those mean? Well, if you notice something a little right here, it says variable, fixed, fixed, and that one says variable. These two are variable ones, uh, variable one and fixed one, I mean, and then you got fixed two and variable two over there. So in order to use the DCS, you always have to have something plugged in to the fixed one. It's just the way it is. You have to use fixed one. Variable one says CONV slash DCS. This one only says DCS, which means this one is the command port. You can only run command control engines, mainly just DCS locomotives, unless you have a legacy system hooked up as well. Only run command control engines through this output. This one, you can run conventional trains and you can run command control trains. So that's the way I have it set up. Since I have a whole bunch of conventional engines and I've got a couple of DCS engines, I pretty much have to use that. So if you want to run conventional engines using your DCS system, you have to use the variable channel on one, but you also have to have a fixed output. You can't put two variables and expect it to work. I don't know why. You just have to have one. Now, what you can do is you can have a little set of track maybe like set up like on you know the same spot as all your power is and that could be a programming track so you can program your engines there and then you can have the other two loops be on the variable channels and you control you know both tracks using the DCS remote instead of using the, the nice big throttle knobs on your conventional transformers but this is just the way I have it set up if you want to set it up yours your way differently go ahead and do that but uh, just showing you this is how I have it set up so now for the less confusing bit, I guess you can say, we're gonna go up to the layout and I'm gonna show you two engines and how I can control them both using the DCS remote at the same time. Let's go do that. All right, so let me show you how you can run the conventional engine with the DCS engine. So right here on the inside loop, I've got a MTH Rail King Imperial Norfolk Southern SD70 ACE in the New York Central Heritage paint scheme. On the outside loop, I have a classic Lionel 440 General. This one is decorated for the Western and Atlantic. It does not have sound, but for a sound demonstration, I am gonna be using this little Strasbourg Railroad Sender, which has an electronic whistle in it. So here's my DCS remote, and I have the SD70 all pulled up. So if I press the number three button, the engine starts up, comes to life. Give it a second for the engine to power on. on it by using number five yeah that's good so I can still get all the features of the engine and if I 
flip direction, I can get the engine moving. And again, this is the fixed channel, so this is always getting 18 volts of power. This one is being a variable channel, it does not get 18 volts. So this current right now, there's no power going to it. So if I shut the engine, or the volume for it off, so you guys can hear me a little bit better. To control the conventional train, I have to press the TR button, which is right above the whistle. And then you get this screen, and this shows the amount of variable tracks that you have. So this one is the outer loop, which is, it is clearly an outer loop. Press that, now you get volts 0.0. .0. So the thumb wheel here will act as the throttle knob on a classic transformer. So if I throttle up, there we go. Now it can be a little glitchy at times, but you know, that's just the beauty of the MTH remote. And again, there's no sounds in that engine as you heard, but for a train that does have sounds, press the bell or the whistle button and get the whistle sound. And I can also control the MTH engine at the same time as the conventional engine. So there you guys have it. That's how you control a DCS locomotive with a conventional locomotive. Well, that about wraps up for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned a little bit about how I run conventional trains as well as DCS trains on the layout. And I hope you guys just enjoyed the video. Of course, there's going to be more content coming in the near future now that school is thankfully coming to a close very soon. I'm so happy about that. But as always, if you guys like the video, please be sure to give the video a big thumbs up. And if you have anything to ask me, leave that in the comments down below. And as always, if you want to see more from me, hit the subscribe button. And when you do, please hit the bell so you get notified whenever I post anything new here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay safe and I'll see you down the line. Let's go run some trains.